Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Heimbaugh. I'm the Development Officer for Perry County Literacy Council. And I'm setting up this video to show you a few of the items, actually a lot of the items that we have for sale at our online auction on biddingowl.com. I'm not a professional videographer as you're about to see, uh, so bear with me. But I wanted to give you uh, a quick look at some of the great items that we have available. So here we go. Our first items is this fantastic rooster named Chanticleer that is uh, was donated by um, Matt Campbell. Uh, he's a local artist, fantastic, uh, talented local artist, and um, he donated this great rooster for us on glass. You can see it's on an antique. Below it here is from his sister, Laura Campbell. And this is an outdoor um, fire pit and all the supplies you would need to have the most fabulous s'mores party with a few of your close friends. This is the PCLC party basket. And it is filled with the supplies, all the supplies you would need to stock a bar and to have one heck of a fun party. Um, our friend Diane Wachowski bought a lot of the incidentals and then our board members all chipped in to buy different bottles of alcohol for us. But it's got some real top shelf tasting liquors and then some other fun uh, things that you can add mixers to. And it's in a uh, half Jack Daniels, authentic Jack Daniels barrel. That's for $75 all by itself. Next, we have a Perry County basket that was donated by Morgan Tressler. And it has all kinds of goodies, like a day in the life of Perry County. Several uh, gift cards to different businesses. Tons of fun items from butchers. Um, some neat things from Bacon Creek Farm. So you can see that it comes in a great galvanized tin. Kevin Fitzpatrick and Kim Fitzpatrick donated this coffee roaster basket that features stuff from Den Denim Coffee, Farmer's Daughter, Sherman's Creek, Sherman's Valley Coffee Company, and Perry County Cafe. Um, Conhaus Printing and Marketing, or Print and Marketing, donated this wonderful basket that's got Juicy, Juice Juicy from Evergreen, that's right. And some really valuable gift cards from Valley Bistro and from Spotacular Escapes. This fun little sign that, with all the letters that go with it that you can use to put up a fun message for the holidays or different things. And then this Christmas rat raffle uh, has a raffle every day. It was a $20 ticket, but your chances for winning are pretty great with all those opportunities. Then we have from Sarah and Brian Keller, a $100 lottery tree plus a $30 lottery card from Rich Pluta at Newport Beverage. Our Perry County Knife Works donated this beautiful cheese knife with a, a handle that he put on there. And this uh, gorgeous, uh, it's a 101 layer Damascus steel uh, Santoku knife with a, the purple heart handle, a cheese board that has the magnetic holds for the, a cheese knife, and then a $25 gift certificate to Wegmans to buy cheese or whatever else you would like. These glasses from 19, the 70s, vintage Pepsi glasses, were donated by an anonymous donor. There are 21 glasses in all, but this is a representation, I think, of one of each of the different glasses. Some of these glasses are valued at $50 a piece. So we've got that set up for sale. This is a pizza kit donated by Lauren Curlin. Uh, the Delalo brand is fantastic for uh, quality for making uh, pizzas. We've got pizza sauce. We've got a shaker with several different condiments that can go on the top of your pizza. Uh, Delalo pepperoni and a couple of pizza dough mixes, this adorable tote, and then a, a 14 inch pizza stone. Next, uh, H2L Studio and Dave and Linda Kutz put together this, this next package. Um, 
H2L Studio is in Mechanicsburg. They do bar, cycle, Pilates, and yoga. And you've got a gift certificate there for three uh, free classes valued at $45, and then all these other goodies to go along with it. Um, the Jewel Box in Newport donated this sterling silver and diamond pendant and earring set. That's a value of $220. It's very pretty. Um, Marlene Quigley donated this beautiful leather cuff with an enamel charm on the front. And then this other, this beaded bracelet with a leather closure on it. Uh, Lane Partner and Sherry Weaver donated this Live Edge charcuterie board, some napkins, cloth napkins, the uh, roasted garlic mustard and herbs to Provence dipping oil from Stonewall Kitchen, two handmade bowls, handmade spoons, uh, handmade spreader, and handmade tongs. Linda and Dave Kutz and Rubicon and Manjaqui donated uh, this gift certificate package for restaurants. You've got a $25 gift card to the Waterfront Bar and Grill, a $25 gift card to Liquid Noise in Marysville, and then a $25 gift card to both Rubicon and Manjaqui. Uh, we've got Humble Stitch here, a $25 gift card off of anything from their store. An anonymous donor donated this, uh, this beautiful English, um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, the name's escaping me right now, but it's, it's a, a, a set with a four piece place setting. This is a place setting here, the dinner plate and the, um, cup, teacup and saucer, a, a nice big platter, the salt and pepper, four of the mugs and a, um, cream and sugar, um, these have never been used and they are all still in their original packaging. Carnes donated this fun barbecue package, which you can't really see inside, but if you look on our Facebook page, you can see this opened up, but it's a fantastic Carnes apron, a $25 gift card to Carnes. You've got three dry rubs for your barbecue needs and bacon ketchup and two of Carnes special um, barbecue sauce. Here, this is from the Ned Smith Center for art and for nature and art. And these are, we've got four wine glasses with different, uh, each with a different fish on them. You can see those. Then we've got uh, four beer mugs, also with each with a different fish on them. And four of the, the rocks glasses. I'll hold one up here so you can see the design. It's a little hard to see in on video, but they're very pretty. Another anonymous donor hit us up with this uh, kind of crazy basket of sports. It's There's over 500 different collectible sports cards in it. This signed portrait, Trivial Pursuit Sports Edition. These five uh, Toronto Maple Leaf pins. We've got Mario Lemieux cards. We've got Eric Lindros cards. We've got a, a, a whole bunch of signed cards. One here with even fabric from that player's jersey. We've got Wayne Gretzky cards. We've got a bunch of Baltimore Oriole pictures. We've got a signed hockey puck from Robert Esch, uh, number 42 of the Flyers, and some game pucks from, another ga from other games. Um, so that's a really neat package for the sports enthusiast in your life. There's hundreds more cards here that I couldn't even show you. This is a gorgeous uh, 10 by 20 print from Irene Van Buskirk. It was shot in her on her England and Ireland trip. And these sheep are, they, they're looking right at us with the best expressions. So we think this would make a really fun addition to someone's home decor also. This is kind of a dark, moody image. Looks very, very old fashioned of Shof's Mill by Deb Reeder. It's kind of the spookier side of Shof's Mill, but it's it's a very beautiful composition. This is a Ned Smith print. I apologize for the reflections. Um, it's called Sunset Woodcock. And it's it's uh, kind of a winter scene with a lot of pastels in it. And it is number 149 out of 200. It's, it's called a conservation 
uh, edition of a Ned Smith print. Very pretty. This is one of two uh, George Losh prints. This is called Airing the Quilts. It's number nine out of 75, donated by Morgan Tressler. And it's just a sweet scene of Amish putting their quilts out on the line. This is our second George Losh. This is called oh, Restless Rough. Sorry about that. Um, it's a very earthy looking grays, browns, donated by uh, Audra Hunter. It's 178 out of 1300, and it was actually the uh, 1990 Pennsylvania Conservation Stamp print. So you get an idea of the detail on that. This is a sweet print by Kathleen Howell of um, Third and Market Streets around the 1920s. It's number eight out of 50. It was donated by Diane Wachowski and framed by John Allison. The frame is absolutely beautiful and it coordinates so perfectly with this adorable little shot of Newport. It's where Brothers is right now. This is the final piece that I can show you today. It's um, by an artist named Thomas Wise of Halifax. It's sort of the piece de resistance of the, of the auction. It was beautifully framed and donated by Patricia Morgel. It is oil on a panel and it features the daylilies and the daisies and these apples. But the detail is stunning. This has an insurance value of $2,400 and it is absolutely stunning. Finally, I wanted to tell you about a couple of items that I'm donating. Um, I'll have a Super Bowl party for 12 that will feature chili and wings and potato skins, uh, a Texas sheet cake and homemade cornbread. It doesn't include any paper goods or beverages, but I would deliver that feast to your house for the Super Bowl or frankly for any other weekend when you think you might need it. I've also got a meal of the month for six months that I would deliver one meal each month. Um, it's about a $600 value. Um, I would be willing to deliver up to 15 miles one way, or um, we could make arrangements to have you pick it up if you live further away than that. And finally, I'm going to do a offer a soup class for six. We'll make three different kinds of soups and you'll end up with the leftovers to freeze or to share with your friends. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us here at the Literacy Council. Um, if there is an item you just feel like you must see to appreciate, give us a call and make an appointment and we'll gladly uh, let you have a look at it. We're selling soups and um, cookies for pickup day, which will be on November 21st from 10 to 2 and we're not gonna ship any of the items, so you'd have to come and pick everything up if you buy it. Anything with any alcohol in it, you must be 21 or older to, to bid on it or purchase it, and you also would have to provide ID on the pickup day. So again, if you have any questions, please give me a call, 717-567-7323, uh, and again, we would be happy to make an appointment if there's anything you'd like to look at before you bid on. Again, thanks for your attention on this. I really appreciate it. Uh, hope that you'll you found something that you'd love to buy at the auction and if you don't you can always donate to Perry County Liter Literacy Council right there on the Bidding Owl website. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Hi everybody. One more addition to the auction and I can't believe I forgot to mention it sooner. We've got a Key West condo for five days and four nights. It's a newly remodeled condo in the gated community of Santa Clara condominiums in, in beautiful Key West, Florida. And it's yours for five days and four nights uh, on a mutually agreeable date. It features one bedroom and one bathroom plus a pullout sofa and it can accommodate four adults. The complex has an in-ground pool and tennis courts. It's on the golf side of Florida and it is only one block from the beach. So that's another fun item to bid on. Thank you.